Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to learn how to use the Meta Insights tool or the Facebook Insights tool, as it used to be called. What is this tool? It is a tool that helps you understand who is the ideal target audience for your business. And it is also a tool that helps you understand who follows your Facebook and Instagram accounts. It is a very useful tool to understand the market potential, to target better, and also to compare your following with the market potential. But let's take things from the very beginning. How can you access the Facebook Insights tool? There are two ways to do it. Option number one, if you Google Facebook Insights tool, you will find basically this listing and you can click, you will come on this page. You can also find this URL in the description. You can click on go to audience insights and that's how you can access this tool. Option number two, you are going to access your Facebook business manager. You are going to click on all tools from the hamburger menu. And if you scroll down under analyze and report, you will find this option that says audience insights. So you're going to click on this option that says audience insights, and that's how you can access the tool. Now, once you access the tool, how does it work? There are two tabs, current audience and potential audience. The current audience is the audience relevant to the page that you manage. If you happen to manage more than one page, you can click here on the drop down menu and you can change basically the page that you want to focus on or you can look into the bottom left and you can switch between multiple business manager accounts if you are an agency or a person managing multiple accounts so first you need to make sure you are looking at the right page current audience tells you who is currently following your facebook and instagram page and when we say who we start with age and gender so you can see the distribution male versus female you can see the distribution on the different age groups for facebook and also for instagram if you scroll further down you're going to see for facebook and for instagram where the users that are following you are coming from which cities they are coming from and which countries they are coming from so really useful insights to get an understanding of who is currently following you. If you click on potential audience, this is where things become interesting. Potential audience is an exploration tool, right? So what we can do here is we can click on filter on the top right side. The first thing that we need to do is select our location. For example, we're going to say Indonesia. So let me select the country of Indonesia. And once I select the country of Indonesia, we can see here the estimated audience size of the people who are using Facebook and Instagram in Indonesia. Obviously, Indonesia is a very big country. So 135 million to 159 million people can be found on either Facebook or Instagram. The system also gives you the distribution, the demographic distribution of these people. So how many of these people are women? How many are men? And what are the age groups that these people belong to? And you can do this with any country. All you have to do is to click here on filter and change the location. The next thing that you need to do is you need to click on filter and you can use this option that is called interests to narrow down to a specific interest. For example, you can say, I'm interested in targeting people who let's say have an affiliation or they are interested in yoga pants. Let's actually select yoga pants. So now that we chose yoga pants, something very interesting happens here in the graph. The system is telling you there are 2 to 2.3 million people in Indonesia that have an interest in yoga pants and they can be found on Facebook or Instagram. The demographic distribution is slightly skewed towards women and the main target demographics are millennials between 25 to 44 years old. If we scroll further down, we can also see which cities we can find them in. The majority of them, non-surprisingly, can be found in uh, Jakarta in Indonesia. So that's how you can actually use the tool 
let me give you a second example. If let's say we come here and we say gaming computers, hardware, then we can see here that there are 28 to 33 million people interested in gaming computers. The demographics are massively skewed towards men. And we are looking at a young audience, which is well distributed across the entire country. If you scroll a little bit further down, you are also going to see the top pages that these people are following. Why all this information are useful? When you want to set up a Facebook campaign, meta ads campaign, as we call it nowadays, you can use this information to target the right demographics. You can use this information to budget accordingly. For example, if you want to split the campaign between male, female, you can use also this information to decide which locations are the most important for your business. Quick tips now, never mix the interests. For example, if I have here gaming computers and on top of that, I also select yoga pants, what I'm getting here is not an end, it is an or condition. So what do we mean by an or condition? So the system basically is giving me results that are relevant to users who have an interest in gaming computers or yoga pants. It is an or condition. What this means is that this estimated audience size, which is 29 to 34 million people, is relevant to both gaming computers and yoga pants. So you are blending the interests. It is not uh, a sizing down basically here, right? So my recommendation is use the tool and investigate every interest one at a time, not all together. If you want now to get, let's say, even more insights, what you can do is you can narrow down to certain, let's say, genders. So only men, let's look actually the demographics of only men interested in gaming computers, or let's look at only men from 18 to, let's say, 24 years old, uh, where they are actually located and what are the pages that they like within uh, Facebook and Instagram. And we can use this information again for collaborations, for targeting, for uh, budget allocation. Uh, we can have a much better understanding of our target audience. What you can also do is you can compare the potential audience size with the number of people that are currently following your Facebook and Instagram. So you know basically what is the distribution, the demographic distribution in the market and how much of this audience you are capturing. These are really interesting information that you can present to your stakeholders and you can use to make data-driven decisions. And that's it. That's how you can use the Facebook Insights, Audience Insights tool or the Meta Audience Insights tool as uh, it's probably now called. Have fun with it. Try to experiment with it. As usual, if you found value in this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. That helps us tremendously to create new content. Have a great day in every time zone and see you in the next video.